Here are the most recent deaths in the national news, plus people's reactions to those deaths, as seen at Legacy.com in the second week of February, 2022. Baseball player Gerald Williams died February 8, 2022. He died of cancer at the age of 55. He was an outfielder for the Yankees, Mets, Brewers, and other teams. Williams is being remembered as a close friend to his Yankees teammate, Derek Jeter. Filmmaker Ivan Reitman died February 12, 2022, at his home in Montecito, California. He died in his sleep at the age of 75. He directed the 80s classic Ghostbusters, as well as movies including Meatballs, Stripes, and Kindergarten Cop. Reitman is also being remembered as the producer of movies such as Animal House, Heavy Metal, and the recent sequel, Ghostbusters Afterlife, written and directed by his son, Jason Reitman. Musician Ian McDonald died February 9, 2022, at his home in New York. He died of cancer at the age of 75. He was a founding member of the influential prog rock band King Crimson. He is also being remembered as a founding member of Foreigner, as well as for playing saxophones on T-Rex's hit, Bang a Gong, Get It On. McDonald was a veteran of the British Army, where he served as a bandsman. Musician Howard Grimes died February 12, 2022, at a hospital in Memphis. He died of kidney failure at the age of 80. He was a drummer with the High Rhythm Section, the great session musicians who were the backbone of Memphis soul in the 1970s. Grimes is being remembered for his rock-solid drumming on hits including Al Green's Tired of Being Alone and I Can't Stand the Rain by Ann Peebles. Artist Carmen Herrera died February 12, 2022, at her home in New York City at the age of 106. She was an abstract artist who created bold, minimalist paintings and sculptures that focused on straight lines and bright colors. Herrera is being remembered for her incredible success late in life. She sold her first painting at the age of 89 and became internationally renowned afterward. Singer Lata Mangeshkar died February 6, 2022, of pneumonia and COVID-19 at the age of 92. Her voice was featured in countless Bollywood movies, lip-synced by India's top actresses. Mangeshkar is being remembered as the Nightingale of India, beloved by generations. Writer P.J. O'Rourke died February 15, 2022, at his home in Sharon, New Hampshire. He died of complications of lung cancer at the age of 74. He was a conservative political satirist known for books including Parliament of Whores, as well as his reporting for Rolling Stone and National Lampoon. O'Rourke is being remembered as a brilliant and funny writer who wasn't afraid to poke fun at both Republicans and Democrats. Singer and composer Bapi Lahiri died February 15, 2022 in Mumbai. He died of a lung infection at the age of 69. He wrote and sang music for Bollywood hit movies including Adventures of Tarzan. Lahiri is being remembered as India's Disco King for popularizing Western disco music there in the 1970s and 80s. Actor Frank Pesh died February 6, 2022 in Burbank, California. He died of complications of dementia at the age of 75. He was known for roles in movies including Beverly Hills Cop, Top Gun, and Midnight Run. 
Pesh is also being remembered as a friend of Sylvester Stallone, with whom he appeared in movies such as Rocky. Every week in the United States, flags are lowered to half-staff to honor the lives of Americans whose communities are mourning their loss. Here are the most recent half-staff memorial flag honors. Flags in New Jersey have been lowered to honor the memory of U.S. Navy Seaman Kyle Mullen. Flags in Arizona have been lowered to honor the memory of former State Senator Olivia Cajero Bedford. Flags in North Carolina have been lowered to honor the memory of Polly Watson Fire Chief James Radford, who died in the line of duty. Flags in Massachusetts have been lowered to honor the memory of former State Senator Bill Owens. Flags in Michigan have been lowered to honor the memory of Flint Police Captain Colin Burney, who passed away in the line of duty. Flags in Minnesota have been lowered to honor the memory of Lieutenant Brett Thomas Boss of the Albert Lee Fire Department. Flags in Florida have been lowered to honor the memory of the lives lost in the shooting at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland on February 14, 2018. Flags in Florida have also been lowered to honor the memory of retired 3rd District Court of Appeal Judge Mario P. Godrich. Flags in Indiana have been lowered to honor the memory of Deputy Chief Bruce DeArc of the Jeffersonville Fire Department. Flags in California have been lowered to honor the memory of Alameda County Sheriff's Deputy Aubrey Phillips. Flags in Alaska have been lowered to honor the memory of former State Senator Johnny Ellis. Flags in Wisconsin have been lowered to honor the memory of former State Senator Joseph S. Leon. Flags in Ohio have been lowered to honor the memory of former Speaker of the State House of Representatives, William G. Batchelder III. Flags in Maryland have been lowered to honor the memory of EMT Wayne Fisher of the Harford County Fire and EMS Foundation, who died in the line of duty. This week also marks several notable anniversaries. Five years ago this week, singer Al Jarreau died of respiratory failure at the age of 76. Twenty years ago this week, musician Waylon Jennings died of complications of diabetes at the age of 64. Forty years ago this week, musician Thelonious Monk died of a stroke at the age of 64. Singer James Ingram was born 70 years ago this week. He died in 2019 of brain cancer at the age of 66. Cosmopolitan editor Helen Gurley Brown was born 100 years ago this week. She died in 2012 at the age of 90. You can read more about the lives of the people featured in this video on Legacy.com. You can also follow Legacy.com on Facebook and subscribe to our channel on YouTube to stay up to date on national news deaths and reactions.